नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेलकम टू पी गुरुस चैनल आई एम योर होस्ट श्री आयर जॉइनिंग मी टुडे एज ऑलवेज इज श्रीराम शशाद्री जी एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ लुक एट तमिलनाडु सी मेनी पीपल आर यू नो नाउ लुकिंग एट द सदर्न स्टेट्स बिकॉज दे आर सेइंग वेल लुक्स लाइक देयर इज अ सर्टेन टाइप ऑफ अ वर्डिक्ट एक्सप्लेन एक्सपेक्टेड इन द नॉर्थ सो लेट्स सी हाउ थिंग्स शेप अप इन द साउथ सो देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इन व्हाट्स हैपनिंग इन स्पेशली अ स्टेट लाइक तमिलनाडु वेयर बीजेपी हैज प्रोजेक्टेड अ वेरी गुड लीडर he has done a lot of hard work and now we are going to start taking a look at now it's one week since the elections were announced what is happening what are the things going on what are the things bjp is doing right what are the things that bjp needs to do and how is the other side reacting all this and more first please uh, like this video and if you have not subscribed to our channel kindly subscribe to our channel now let's welcome sriram seshadri ji sriram ji namaskar and welcome to p guru's channel sir namaskar and namaskaram to all the p gurus viewers sri ram ji this you know uh, suddenly there's a, a whole plethora of uh, you know uh, readings from the ground people are talking to villagers villi- villagers villages far flung areas in the deep south where bjp said this is going to be our bastion uh, because we all remember what anna annamalai had said that you will not win a single seat now begin people are beginning to see how truthful that is and interesting results have come out now let's take a step back rather than just take one person's uh, uh, results or one group's uh, readings let's not do that let's take a look at we had a certain projection and that is being challenged so that's fine we will not say anything about that we are going to go look at what has been happening many people are behaving like fish out of water because the area that they worked in and the the constituency that they have got are not the same so so they are finding it difficult to put down roots the local people are feeling dissatisfied saying that our guy should have been given the ticket and and this guy has been helicoptered in some things have happened like that so take us back from the time the elections were announced walk us through what has been happening how do you see this thing progressing don't leave any details out i'll give you a full 20 minutes to talk about this sir viewers sure. let's just have a complete analysis of what's going on in tamil nadu sure. uh, thank you uh, cair ji see one important thing that has happened uh, in, in the last uh, a few of that happened the last uh, one week is uh, all the candidates are announced including congress i was just wondering whether congress will complete its announcement before uh, the election is not uh, or not but you know if, uh, thankfully they have actually announced it in fact when uh, mr stalin visited tirunelveli he uh, he didn't know who was the congress leader just half hour before the rally he had uh, you know the congress uh, contestant name was given um, that's the state of affairs in tamil nadu and uh, when uh, bjp announced it all, bjp also took its time to announce the candidates there are some definitely hard burns when uh, some of the candidates were announced say for example let's take uh, Ch- uh, south chennai south chennai uh, dr tamilsai sundarajan was airlifted from being a governor she resigned and then you know jumped into the uh, fray in south chennai almost 23 people were aspiring for south chennai and today what happens is when uh, the campaign is happening there is a very 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 low energy from the karyakartas of this 23 groups ideally speaking yes they all didn't get the seat they should jump into the fray they should actually be uh, you know working very strong in that constituency because it is one of the vip constituencies all the three contestants from the three fronts i'm just leaving seeman out for a moment all the three fronts are very popular very um, you know uh, tough uh, you know uh, fight uh, you know uh, this guy um, uh, jay kumar san uh, jayavardhan and uh, you know when you talk about um, tamil uh, tamilsai soundarajan from bjp tamil chitanga pandian sitting mp that that sitting mp is getting a, a bit of uh, what do you call backlash from the public because they now see where were you when the floods occurred there she is getting driven out same thing is happening with uh, say chennai central dayani dimar and there are public is just challenging the uh, candidate when uh, he is going for uh, going going for the you know campaign but let's take uh, stay for uh, south chennai with for a moment i would have expected the rest of bjp karyakartas who are aspiring to get the seat 
they didn't get the seat but having given to tamil is sandarajan it should be a bjp's victory and they should work hard but i see on the ground reports that i get is that in a very feeble response from the people feeble response from uh, the uh, from uh, the candidates or the karyakartas also on the contrary the chennai central is a vibrant uh, constituency vinoch p selvam is making a significant mark it's a very herculean task for him to win but what happened today chennai central is bjp versus dmk i don't see the idmk candidate or any uh, you know present there or idmk combined candidate present there i don't see nam tamilar kachi in a big way it is a direct fight between uh, vinoch p selvam of bjp and dayanidhi maran of dmk so vinoch p selvam is making this constituency very vibrant we need to see whether he is, he will actually be what is a what margin that uh, you know he may uh, he may have to cough up to uh, you know lose i don't put still put vinoch p selvam as a successful candidate uh, as per yes sir sir uh, thank you sir i just wanted to to do two or two, three things uh, this is for bjp karyakartas and bjp volunteers all of you who are putting your sweat and blood and tears in trying to get your candidate to win remember one basic thing modi's message is one of positive message you know what negative messages work better in the minds of voter than positive messages rather than rely on the modi record bodi jodi you can say whatever you want that is only positive you may want to look at the negatives of dmk and play it up locally constituency by constituency sometimes ward by ward if you have to yeah. that is what is going to work guys i'm telling you negative i i'll give you a simple example viewers in stock market you know you are tra trading in stock you know the amount of happiness you get from making 100 rupees in one day on one share and the amount of sadness you get by losing 100 rupees on the same share another day the loss hits you twice as much twice as much that is the sentiment that is human behavior you need to go hard you need to go back i'm i'm also looking at some of the things uh you know that bjp is perhaps not taken out of their armory to hit at a dmk we will suggest that also i'm so sorry sir because i had to say this thing because people are now tuned in they are you know you you may not be happy that your candidate hasn't won but there are many other uh, opportunities available don't worry about it what has happened is happened back to you sir i won't interrupt you yeah, thank you no problem i think you know uh, before i go to the other constituencies i'm going to just add on to you sri ayer ji is all the bjp what they need to do in their campaign are two two or three different things number one like you said you know hit them hard where it hurts the second is modi is my pm who is your pm candidate i think that message has to hit very very hard onto the mind of the people the third most important is how the pangalis are working together dmk and admk are part and parcel of the same combine to be defeat bjp it's a it's a tacit understanding alliance that they have between themselves and then fighting this election i think this message all the candidates and every constituency should be talked about unfortunately i spoke to few of the bjp contestants to talk about this they are hesitant to say that very unfortunate to say that because for them 2026 they are even looking at 2026 will there be an admk uh, alliance so if i hit hard on admk they may have a grudge on me i say, i'm saying that this is a very 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 unfortunate uh, situation for ayrg and the viewers bjp should go very hard the drug issue i'll come to that what modi said to the karyakartas i'll talk about this but looking at some of these constituencies vinoj p selvam i think you know all the best to him because he is doing really doing giving a tough time value for money and then tough time for dayanidhi maran dayanidhi maran would not have expected that the that constituency which he probably thought his own kingdom that you know it is going to it is challenging him i think dmk itself it was a big 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 revelation to them right i'll come to velur velur very silent ac shanmugam is doing a lot of work but not in a big way it is not in the uh, media and uh, trinalveli nainar nagendra some of the reports say that i still strongly feel that nainar nagendra is going to win hands down hands down but 
I, 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 I hear some of the ground reports. There may be some amount of, uh, you know, backlash for him or there may be some amount of, uh, uh, you know, lower voter turnout for him. But I still put him at a 42 to 43 percentage vote share that he will get and he will give in hands down. Uh, Krishnagiri, I think, you know, uh, we, we all know that, again, a very silent constituency. I think PMK will make a huge mark in Krishnagiri. And uh, I still put this as a winnability is there. Very hard work is needed. Winnability is there. Uh, Kanyagumari. Kanyagumari, I still maintain. In fact, my friend JVC uh, Sriram also did a, a you know, video for other another channel. And I still feel that unless... Uh, you know, the Kolachal, uh, Vilavangodu and uh, uh, Kiliu, these are all Congress bastions. Whereas Kanyakumari, Nagar Koil and uh, Padmanabhapuram are BJP bastions. And ADMK voters may remain with ADMK, just the hardcore ADMK voters will remain with them. Some portion of it, the Hindutva vote within the ADMK will change, uh, move towards Ponnar. But once again, in these three constituencies, Unless and otherwise Congress is breached, winning Kanyakumari in a three-corner or a four-corner contest is a very, very difficult. I think four-corner contest is easy because I always talked about 30 to 33 percentage of vote share that BJP has, followed by about 25, 26 percentage by Congress, and then followed closely by 22 percentage, 20 to 22 percentage by DMK, and then ADMK always had been in the 15 to 18 percentage in Kanyakumari. This is the four, uh, you know, one, two, three, four rank. So if one plus four is added, it's not equal to two plus three. That is the mathematical equation, arithmetical equation in Kanyakumari. And when two and three are together today and four is away, maybe partially of the four is going to come to, uh, come to because, you know, they have fielded a Christian Nadar candidate, which even I said that, you know, in, uh, BJP should make an attempt there with a combination of Christian and Hindu uh, not our community. I, in fact, in one of the videos, I uh, I think with P Gurus or others, I have been exploring this. But unless and otherwise one of the Congress back bastion is breached, and it could be Vilavangodu, Vijayadharani can do her magic. Maybe a part of Kiliu, maybe a part of uh, Kolachal. Unless otherwise this is broken, BJP winning in Kanyakamari, even now I maintain is not going to be an uh, easy task. I'm, I'm still making that it is a Congress Vijay Vasant victory in uh, Kanyakumari, sir. Uh, Perambalur, fortunately or unfortunately, K. N. Nehru's son is contesting and, uh, uh, you know, Parivender from uh, BJP is contesting. Parivender has a very popular uh, opinion there, very popular, uh, you know, support there. And K. N. Nehru's son, being a K. N. Nehru's son, there's going to be a huge amount of uh, state machinery that is going to be sitting there. But because K. N. Nehru's son is contesting from uh, Perambalur, the entire bastion of K. N. Nehru is going to be working in Perambalur and then not work for Durai, uh, Durai Vaiko in Trichy. So making AMMK win there much more comfortable because Durai Vaiko is not being, maybe Anbil Mahesh uh, faction will be working for Durai Vaiko there, but half the effort from the DMK for Durai Vaiko to win. Of course, the, uh, they have a symbol which is not very popular. And uh, Perambulur, in spite of, uh, you know, uh, once again, my friend will say that, you know, Perambulur is non-winnable, non, non but in spite of K. N. Erusan, there is a possibility for BJP to make a mark. I still keep it as uh, difficult for BJP to win. Uh, we'll talk about Coimbatore. Uh, I think I really want to talk, talk want to talk about Coimbatore. I'm really, really upset on certain things. Starting from the electoral nomination, filing of the nomination, using an Indian, Indian judiciary stamp rather than a non-judicial stamp. I think, you know, whatever is the error, whatever is a blunder, I think this is unpardonable, Brenda. I think that is where I see that, you know, uh, see, even assuming uh, Anamalai wins hands down, the moment the way, we, currently all the parties will keep silent about it, but the moment he wins, they are going to approach the court and then say his nomination itself is not valid and hence his election where victory cannot be counted. 
I think that is the biggest blunder. I, I seriously wonder a large party and having a bastion of lawyers and that to a candidate like Anamalai, how did they make this mistake? I think that is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not able to consume that. But viewers, BJP supporters, Karya Kartas, why is that, you know, you guys don't work for BJP victory in 40 constituencies? Everybody is descending into Coimbatore. As if that's the only constituency. In fact, thanks to some of the directions or most of the other Karyakatas who wanted to just only descend on Koyamuthur, they are all being sent back, which is a nice gesture. But all the supporters, everybody is just going to Koyamuthur and not working on other areas. I think this is something that, you know, BJP should, and the BJP supporters and other sympathizers should realize. It's just not one victory we need. And, you know, BJP needs at least seven or eight, NDA needs at least seven or eight constituencies victory Tamil Nadu. Unless otherwise that is ensured, uh, you know, the BJP success cannot be measured, uh, you know, effectively. So, Koyamuthur is a very important constituency. There the Pangalis are working together. In fact, I was the first person in the media to talk about BJ, ADMK, DMK having a tacit understanding by fielding a very weak candidate, that too from someone who had moved from uh, ADMK to DMK uh, a year or so back. That guy is um, Velumani's, uh, you know, coterie who had moved to uh, DMK and uh, erstwhile he was an ADMK mayor in Coimbatore. So naturally there is a natural alignment of forces against Anomaly. So it is an Herculean task for him. But Singai Ramachandran is not making an impact. One should realize that on the ground. His candidature, everybody thought he's an intellect, you know, I am a graduate, he's going, but he is actually ca calling for a personal fight with Anamalai than an electoral fight with BJP. I think that is where Singai Ramachandran is losing out heavily, and BJP should take a clear advantage of this. Uh, there are some misses in the communication. There are misses in uh, some of the statements that has been made by, uh, you know, Anamalai. And, uh, you know, and he was very cautious. In fact, before filing the nomination, he went to a temple and then Vanidhi Srinivasan gave money to be put into that, uh, you know, Archaga's uh, plate. Anamalai immediately realized and then he withheld and then gave it to someone else in GK Nagarajan. And then GK Nagarajan offered that to the priest. Because he had Annamalai offered that to the priest, even the natural one, right? Natural action of anybody going to a temple, offer your uh, money to the priest by on the plate. And during the election, when the model code of conduct is in place, if the candidate has done that, it is a violation of model code of conduct. So they, those areas, Annamalai is very, very cautious, immediate reaction is there. But I think, you know, guys, please do work on the ground. Please do work with the people and not just go along with Anamalai wherever he's going. Just keep don't keep going, following him with him, and then create a crowd there. I think you know the election can be won only in the booths, not in any other place, right? I think you know the booth karyakatas always have talked about strengthening of the booths. Many people have challenged me saying, Oh, we, what is the importance of booth and all? I think this is this election is going to prove. Neil Gris. Once again, so far it is very silent, but I feel that, you know, Murugan will take a, a bit of, uh, you know, leaf out of, uh, uh, you know, uh, A. Raja. A. Raja is facing a severe anti-incumbency there, but being, uh, uh, being a ruling party and, uh, you know, heavy money will get involved. So, Neil Giris, I'm still keeping my fingers crossed. We need to see how it happens. So, that's the status on for me for the... Uh, nine constituencies to ERG when we talked about in the Lok Sabha first list. We go to the quickly on to the, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the number so far is three, four, two. Yeah. Three winnable. Uh, I'm including Coimbatore also in this. Four very tough fights and two looks like it's gone. Let's go to the next yeah. set, sir. I, I still maintain that last week we talked about it. I will still maintain yeah. that, right? Yeah. And on the next one, I think Thiruvallur. Uh, I said, you know, Bala, uh, Pun Balaganapati is a great uh, contestant, but, you know, Congress now fielded a far more stronger candidate, Sashikant, uh, Sa uh, Sashikant Sindhil, I think, right? He's, uh, he actually worked on Karnataka election, Telangana election. 
he's a big strategist so it's going to be uh, difficult for uh, i don't i'm not going to even say difficult for uh, pon balagaram to win i think congress has a far better edge in thiruvallur uh, with respect to the constituency uh, last time when we spoke we didn't know who was a congress candidate but we talked only about admk and the bjp where bjp had a uh, advantage today probably bjp will come second and uh, you know sashikant sindhul probably very clear winner there pal kanakraj once again uh, not a big uh, you know effort being done in uh, chennai north chennai north once again is a bastion of dmk i leave it at that ashwathaman another interesting constituency tiruvannamalai ideally if he had been given a kadalur or kallakurchi he would have uh, he would have fared better but tiruvannamalai is not a bad choice because it's a pm uh, pmk's uh, stronghold and uh, you know uh, ashwathaman is a probable uh, you know uh, candidate but very difficult of course kp ramalingam namakkal uh, i know he has a very easy victory in namakkal because you know the opposition parties are very weak dmk has given to kungi ishwaran kachi and they change the uh, you know uh, uh, you know uh, contestant three times one thing we should remember this time shreyar ji dmk in 2024 is not going to work effectively for the alliance partners that's a, that's a message that i want to give they are not going to pump significant of money in the alliance partner constituencies karyakartas are not going to be working very hard there because the money flow is going to be very less there because uh, dmk realizes very clearly it is going to be a third term modi in in, uh, in the center why should we spend all our resources so only the star candidates they would want them to win say for example the uh, you know uh, k n nehru son and all those you know uh, family members they will ensure that they win but otherwise all the uh, you know constituencies where the uh, alliance partners are contesting i think that is where in 19 of the constituencies if i am not wrong and that is where B, uh, dmk is not going to pump heavy money so kp ramalingam has a significant chance to win and that to at the backyard of eps i think that is what the message one should uh, go after ap muruganandam tirupur already lot of people in the opposition parties have started talking about st- spreading the message tirupur will be made a union territory attached to gujarat this is the level of narrative or that you know or what do you call you know people are actually becoming mad at bjp having a, a chance there so i put uh, tirupur on the most probable uh, list uh, shrg now i'm just last time also we talked about it it is the most probable victory there street i still maintain that pollachi i think uh, you know i'll give it given not a very popular candidate not a very charismatic uh, candidate uh you know uh, one should hope for uh, god intervention there i leave it at that same with the karur uh, with senthil nadan and karur now jyotimani is contesting maybe jyotimani will help senthil nadan to uh, get an advantage of that because congress in that uh, district passed a resolution in the district council that jyotimani should not be given the seat imagine that is the level of uh, you know support Ka- jyotimani has from congress and in this case dmk senthil balaji stream is not going to work very hard because between uh, jyoti mani and senthil balaji there is already a, already a rift happening so i don't see that you know jyoti mani is going to have a easy victory but i'll just put that as because senthil nadan is not a very popular candidate maybe this time if anamali contested there they they could have been a much more better uh, you know victory there kartyayini chidambaram Uh, Thiruvanamalai won with 800 votes difference in 2019 and hands down Karthikeyan should win now because the uh, Chidambaram people especially the Dikshiters are realizing that Thiruvanamalai is taking taken them for a ride in fact after the victory in 2019 and 2021 DMK government has gone against this Chidambaram temple uh, you know heavily to interfere in their affairs and all those things i think Thiruvanamalai is going to find it very very difficult i put chidambaram as a probable uh, you know uh, seat now even if it is taking an advantage uh, seat for bjp uh, uh, sir nagapatnam not a very popular candidate just a uh, just a cosmetic fight i'll leave it at that 
um karupu muruganandam tanjavu interesting candidate very strong i think you know with the uh, support of ammk and uh, tamil manila congress and him being part of the mukulathur uh, community i think you know uh, and the opponent opposition candidates are not very strong there i think muruganandam may have an edge against uh, you know everybody else devanadan yadav shivaganga chita karthik chidambaram is contesting i think devanadan yadav has a very limited chance of winning because it's just a cosmetic fight I, i'm sure that unless otherwise congress digs uh, its own grave for chita uh, karthik chidambaram in shivaganga i think uh, devanadan yadav is not going to win there or may not even come second in my opinion he may go to the third position in shivaganga that's a situation rama srinivasan madurai most probable I, i just am very energetic about his campaign energetic about the way he works in madurai uh, su vengadesan has a significant amount of anti incumbency has not done anything to the madurai constituency and uh, you know people and also the dmk candidates uh, dmk uh, you know supporters themselves are uh, dissociating themselves from uh, su vengadesan i don't see, maybe ptr may do a wonder for uh, you know professor uh, ramasrinivasan in madurai he may actually uh, you know secretly uh, act uh, towards uh, you know D- pushing some of the dmk karyakartas to work uh, in favor of uh, madurai uh, in in favor of ramasrinivasan very popular ca- contestant and uh, you know in fact you know you, if if you look at some of the tweets that he did he did file you know he did tweet saying that thanking his lawyers for a smooth filing of nomination i know who he t- took a dig at i think and you know, i leave it to the audience to realize it <laughs> so there is uh, some sort of this group fight happening within bjp i just at this point in time i don't i don't want to talk very high uh, very much about it but i just leave it at that very probable candidate su vengadesan may 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 not return to uh parliament is what i get but let's wait and see radhika sarath kumar virudhanagar i think virudhanagar has um, you know uh, from admk uh, there is a contestant uh, uh, vijay gan sun is contesting he doesn't have an appeal he doesn't have any appeal at all and radhika sarath kumar in my opinion is moving edging towards the victory uh, for virudhanagar tenkasi sir the fight is now between admk and bjp for the first time in the 40 constituencies or admk alliance versus bjp alliance first time in the 40 constituencies right because john pondian is putting a significant amount of uh, you know thrust tenkasi would have been a, i would have said that it is a cake walk had tenkasi anandan been put a, put as a candidate but i think the moment uh, you know his candidature was withdrawn lot of support that was in that constituency is not actively seen i think uh, you know people should work towards bjp's uh, lotus symbol to win rather than you know uh, tenkasi anandan didn't get the seed and hence you know they just uh, subtly working on it but i think you know still it is a tough fight to dr krishna swami uh, because it is a reserve constituency has significant amount of devendra kula velalar and uh, you know uh, they will split the vote 50 50 in favor of each one of them going to be a very difficult for john pondian last time when i said it's a most probable still maintain the probable but uh, you know it's going to be a tough fight for john pondian to win dr krishna swami has an edge at this point in time namachivayam hands down bjp i don't want to even talk about me on that because it's a very strong forte for him to win sir i have the tally here i am going to start recounting go back one page please on the slide deck uh, chennai south legium um, chennai central possible um, next one is uh, velur win yeah. um, next one Krishna, is uh, krishnagiri possible uh, we, we sir we went, uh, krishnagiri is possible then uh, what is kk kk is kanyakumari kanyakumari we are also saying possible um, perambalur possible i am not saying i am not saying possible it is not going to be easy okay so it's going to be uh, not possible okay got yeah, it yeah, yeah. legium legium got yeah. it Ter- and, ternal valley win ternal valley win and uh, yeah. this thing is win uh, coimbatore what do you say sir coimbatore it's a 50 50 sir yeah, I, previously i said it's a short shot victory but still there is a chance but i will put it as a difficult one okay got it sir so tinnalveli win 
and then nilagiri is what do you say sir nilagiri is also possible but uh, difficult okay got it so i that also i'll put it in the possible category then the next one i was able to keep good track of other things next page please we are just going to tally everything and give it to you in just a moment um tiruvallur uh, loss no. kanakaraj loss uh, ashwathaman loss possible uh, yeah, possible ashwathaman possible kp okay. ramalingam okay. uh, i would put edge towards win, win. yeah when tirupur also edge towards win yeah. um pollachi loss um yeah, loss. Poss yeah possible but yeah chidambaram win you are saying and nagapattinam loss tanjavur win sivagangai loss madurai win and uh, what is the last okay. one after virudhunagar maybe win yeah. and the last one john pandian is a loss namasimayam is a win that we know yeah. but with this my total comes up to let's say the losses 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 8 of this 24 is a loss for bjp maybe is are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 sir it comes back to the same thing sir 8 8 yeah, and 8 8 8 8 8 yeah maybe yeah. there is a between win and possible there is a one or two you will go there but you know i think at this point in time 7 win 9 possible 8 loss i'll put yeah. it as 7 win 8 possible 9 possible 8 loss Uh, but remember guys one is a sure shot win in this seven that means actually six in tamil nadu one we are talking about pondicherry yeah, so that, that is a win for bjp yeah. so don't take yeah. that as a thing that is a big or complete it's not so now let us talk about modi's address to the karyakartas and then a couple of things here and there and then we'll wrap it up sir over to you sure see at uh, modi normally does this with all the state elections but this is the for the first ever time today just an hour or hour and a half before he had a very lengthy conversation with the booth karyakartas right booth uh, you know uh, uh, leads uh, he spoke to few of the booths uh, one from uh, tirupur one from uh, at least i listened to few of that you know one from uh, uh, you know uh, coimbatore and all he and one i think one from somewhere in the delta region i forgot which region it is you know there three or four i listened to i think you know he was giving counseling to the booth leaders booth panna pramukhs and booth karyakartas he was giving them how you should be managing the booth so he asked pertinent questions how many candidate how many voters are there how many first time voters are there how many do you think have got the uh, you know the benefits of central government i am dead sure that you know none of the booth agents would have had this data in their hand because some maybe some of them are very smart and you know, they just did that at least the candidate the voter list they definitely would have but which are all the beneficiaries have you spoken to the beneficiaries very key point that he gave he said tamil nadu has a nine party alliance he called this navratna right nine ratnas and if you lay the foundation for a house you lay this navratna as part of your foundation stone laying because you know you want all the benefits all the grahas to come in your help i think in a very good articulation no i, I don't think anybody has thought about it even as a political analysts pundits and everybody we never even thought about this uh, particular uh, concept of navratna and that being laid as a foundation i think you know that is where modi scores his election narrative setting is unparalleled i think he's a peter drucker of uh, you know electoral marketing i think we should we should really really revere him for that right because i tell you nobody thought about this concept nine parties who are an alliance navratnas and we are laying a foundation in tamil nadu for a nationalistic movement taking away the dravidian uh, dravidian parties away from out of the you know race and then fighting against the dravidian movement and nationalistic movement is taking up and laying the foundation for that is using the navratna i think that's a beautiful message i'm sure that you know people should actually work towards it right then uh, the second aspect that he definitely talked about is a drug menace 
and then i think you know he was when he was talking to someone from the delta region if i'm not wrong he said that you know drug destroy lives of our children right thanks for putting this tweet quickly yeah. uh you know i think you know he's really concerned about it and uh, like you said sri arjun when you talked about negative uh, campaign i think you know the this is negative as well as positive messaging the drug mafias who have been protected by the ruling combine and the pangali is not even talking about this beyond one or two cosmetic statements is not even taking head on on the drug mafia only bjp is fighting against this drug mafia in the in the state i think that's a powerful one and uh, you know that we are want to protect our children we want to protect our next generation whereas dmk is trying to do uh you know uh, appeasement with the drug lords and then you know one of the karyagatas one of the leaders of uh, you know office bearer of um, uh, the dmk was part of this drug cartel right so all these messages and he was asking a lot of questions about individual uh, you know and when he was talking to one of the coimbatore uh, uh, you know booth uh, representative he appreciated because when this guy said so many people are there 34 new uh, you know uh, new voters in his booth i think uh, when he, when i heard 34 what is he talking about then i realized it's in a booth in the booth there is a 34 voters and then you know he talked about how they value the digital economy and all those stuff right so this guy explained it very well and actually modi was very very happy about listening to that and then you know he appreciated that person in the call but what modi reiterated is once again what i have been saying in this show here if you remember we have been doing this for more than a year or so i have been saying st- uh, you know strengthening the booth level uh, you know workers the panna pramukhs the page representatives that is a very key i think modi was reiterating that time and again time and again i think the message is now Uh, gone very deeply into the bjp's people though it is not too late we still have another 10 15 days to, for um, you know uh, do that and uh, the most important thing is you know i personally want to communicate through this show is have your narrative the common there could be multiple constituency level narrative local narratives but the common narrative is you know always you know talk about uh you know uh, the negatives of the dmk government we have modi as a pm and then of course you know what you are showing there you know some of the welfare schemes of modi that one should talk about the pangalis are together dmk and admk are partnering to defeat bjp if you look at the entire media narrative srg everybody is talking about bjp versus dmk or bjp versus admk so the Bengalis are working together to defeat BJP. I think that's a significant status to be in, significant position to be in. And if you win about seven or eight seats, I think that this is irreparable damage one can do the Dravidian ecosystem. I wouldn't be surprised after 2026, uh, ADMK and DMK form an alliance like SP and BSP in Uttar Pradesh. Right? They may go to that extent. I think one should drive them to that extent. the most important the drug men is i think you know it will drive home because the admk is not at all talking about it dmk is very back foot on that i think one should talk about this heavily in the campaign because every parent would be worried i think you know i i uh, saw one of the uh, you know uh, podcast by uh, anamala i think with the ai if i'm not wrong he said this drug men is has made the parents to Uh, you know suspect their own kids in fact you know that point really struck me very well uh, shreyaji because i am a parent of two and then you know it any any sort of uh, issue though i have very friendly relationship with my kids but it made every parent to suspect their children i think that's what this drug manias has done i think you know bjp is the only party that is taking talking about it and they should continue to talk about it. i think these are the three four messages and narratives if they set and the navratna narrative modi ji said in the karyakatas meeting i think that's uh, one some of the very strong messages that you know every politician every bjp politician should be taking to the masses every uh, you know social media activist and social media supporters should take it to the masses one last thing i want to see is you i don't know whether you observed it immediately after the election is announced 
and the last one week or 10 days, one can find the social media activists of the BJP supporters have decreased a lot. I don't know whether you observed it. Okay, I may be wrong. Maybe I am not paying much attention. But if one observes, I think social media is an equivalently strong platform. I think that support should continue, in my opinion, by the supporters. I think that is what will get get more and more support for BJP on the ground. I'll end with this, CIG. Thank you so much, sir. Just a couple of uh, things to add to what you said. Look, the candidate that the party has selected in your constituency is your own. Yes, your favorite did not win. But always remember the big picture. Do you want more temples to be destroyed? Do you want more children to be destroyed? Do you want your future generations to be destroyed by liquor? The way these guys go about it. So hit this thing. That is their underbelly. Identify the underbelly of the opposition. Hit them hard. Because you can hit the ADMK also. A lot of these things didn't happen overnight. Yep. They did not happen overnight. So they are equally uh, you know, compliant in this stuff. So they don't, 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 uh, you know, give them any slack here. This is what I think is really needed. And also just one update, uh, viewers, a lot of raids are happening to try and curb the influence of money in elections. Interesting thing this time is a lot of the thing is in the form of gold. Gold, Sri Ramji. So this means they have already figured out that transporting 500 rupee based yes. different places is not going to work. So now they have moved up the chain to gold. Maybe they are going to give you gold rings, gold coins, gold whatever in exchange for winning the election or voting for them. The more money they give, this is something also BJP has to tell. The more money you get from a party, the worse they are going to be once they come back to power. Yeah. You can take whoever's money. You can even tell them you voted for them. Just vote who, who you think is good for your children. Yeah. We have to play this game also. Don't have to be Haraja Harishandra at this point of time. Do what you think is right for your children. Do yeah. for your children. You are done. We are done. That's all I can tell you. Sir, uh, just two questions if you don't mind, sir. Because we have yeah. had a lot of people. Uh, uh, 12 questions, but we just take two questions if you don't mind, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Raghavendran. Uh, BJP fielding all seniors in 2023 either win and go to Delhi or lose and take a back seat. Thereby, class factionalism unite Kadar under Annamalai with the CM face in 2026. Is that one strategy? Uh, Raghavendran, I don't think that is a strategy because, yeah, uh, unfortunate that all the seniors and some of the spent forces are getting a seat here. But I would have seen a vibrant uh, team to get the seat here. I think. Uh, uh, you know, I don't see this as a strategy because the moment they are in political uh, spectrum, uh, nobody is going to take a back seat, right? People are going to talk, people are going to be there. So the factionalism is worrying me in Tamil Nadu BJP. Uh, but I think, you know, uh, BJP as a party have more discipline than anybody. I think they should, uh, they'll simmer this around post the election, in my opinion. Next question, please. Ram Mohanji, thank you so much. Pronounced to both of you. I disagree about the nomination issue. Annamalai submitted two nominations where one of them used the wrong paper. Other was okay. So, Ram Mohan, you know, let's, uh, let us accept the fact. The first nomination was on the judicial stamp paper. The second nomination was a non-judicial. When the mistake was realized, the timing is important, right? What time this was, uh, you know, uh, presented is very, very important. That's why I'm saying... At this point in time, no political party will actually uh, take a huge, uh, you know, issue out of it. They'll just criticize this. And then uh, when Anamle wins, they'll all approach the court and then say his nomination itself was invalid. I think this controversy could have been avoided. You know, BJP had so many lawyers, the, you know, even, uh, even someone uh, uneducated can uh, file a nomination successfully. And, uh, you know, this is this is a bit of a setback, right? An IPS office, a civil service person, I am graduate, how did he miss it? Or how did his team miss it? Or was there a willful sabotage by someone who just showed this, you know, stamp paper, you know, in urgency sign? I don't know what happened, but this could have been avoided. And, uh, you know, let's accept the fact as fact. Yeah, next one, please. Vignesh Prabhu, thank you so much. BJP is giving to ally Tenkasi to John Pandian. BJP has to crack on cash supply, gold, drugs, pawn shop. 
lukewarm approach is not good. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think BJP risk Trichy uh, giving to uh, you know uh, you know the alliance because I think uh, AMK is a very strong candidate. Now that against Durai Vaiko and then uh, you know it all works out that K N Nehru will concentrate on uh, uh, you know Parambalur for his son. So it all works out towards NDA for this. I don't think that's a bad strategy. And uh, even otherwise, if it was given to BJP, who was the candidate there? There was no big popular candidate available in Trichy. I think that's what a big good decision. And Tenkasi, yes, to some extent, I see that you know Tenkasi Anandan could have been given a seat, but you know you need to accommodate Devendra Kula Vela. You, uh, you know, one missed uh, uh, Dr. Krishna Swami, so one had to accommodate uh, uh, you know John Pandian. I think that that is where it is. Uh, in fact, you know, Dr. Krishna Swami himself could have been accommodated. Since you are going, planning to give a Tenkasi, Dr. Krishna Swami himself could have been accommodated. I don't know. That's a that probably is a wrong decision in my opinion. Next one, please. I think that's all we have. Uh, we apologize okay. for not being able to answer all your questions. Sri Ramji is on a, is on a visit to US and he has some hard time constraints. He has another meeting to go to, sir. Thank you so much. We will discuss in a little bit more detail tomorrow when we are doing the Tamil version. So those of you who can follow Tamil, do come back. We'll have more time for you. We'll have your questions answered there. Thank you once again, sir. Namaskar. Namaskar. Thank you.